hey guys welcome to my channel my name is Georgia if you are new here and today I have such an exciting video for you guys so this is how to make a vision board in 2023 um, and a digital vision board at that and so it's super easy I'm gonna walk you guys through the process step by step um, and I'm so excited for this one because this actually means a lot to me I'm gonna actually share a quick story with you guys so um this is our vision board 2023 and first and foremost, I'm going to say that anything that you guys are wishing, I pray that um, it comes to pass. And so I'm just here to really just show you guys how I have made vision boards work for me. Um, and we're going to do that. Okay, so one quick, I guess, way for me to tell you the power of vision boards is um, when I was interested in buying a house like years ago, uh, back in 2018, something told me, it was like, just write down, I'm sure I saw it somewhere. And it was like, write down what you want. And I wrote down, I was like, I'm going to buy a house. And I, I think the original date was like April 30th of 2018. Uh, sorry, was it 20? Yeah, April 30th of 2018. So I was like, I'm going to write it down. I put it on a sticky note and I'm going to talk about that later on in the video. So make sure you just listen to everything I got to share. So I put the goal down. I'm going to buy a house by April 30th of 2018. I put it on a little sticky note, right? And I remember I put it on my computer. So... By the time April 30th of 2018 came, um, by that time, I had actually, I was like on the brink of getting pre-approved to buy a house. So literally the lady was like, do these couple things and you're approved. So I was like, okay. So it just kind of told me something. When you write something down, there's so much power in that. And when you believe of what you write down, that's very important. When you believe what you write down, that's even more important. Like they need to be aligned. So I wrote it down by the time I updated it to May 31st of 2018. By the time May the 31st came, I had a house under contract, meaning like I was days away from closing on the house and like obtaining the house, right? May 31st came, I had a house under contract. And then I went back to my sticky note on May 31st and I updated it to, it was about June 28th. And that was the day of my closing to go get my keys and sign the paperwork. I say that to show you the power of vision boards, the power of writing things down. And I'm also going to talk about the power of putting dates. Dates to me are very important and they have always worked for me. And really quick, last story. My birthday just passed in December and I had wrote down on one of my vision boards um, that for my birthday, I was like, I want to get like an Airbnb. And I said I wanted to rent out a movie theater. So I remember my birthday came. I initiated the whole movie thing i wasn't able to rent out the whole movie theater but i did get my friends to like buy tickets so we had um like tickets to the back rows of the movie theater and everybody with their tickets that all came together but the portion of the airbnb um i remember my friends were like oh do you know the other part of your birthday like we're gonna do something for you and i was like well what are y'all doing like i and i had no idea mind you it's in my office like nobody comes to my office my friends like even when they come over they're like downstairs so I remember they sent me a text and they were like, um, and I'm, I'm going to put it on the screen. Actually, they sent me a text and they were like, get ready. Um, we're going to take you. Uh, they said they were going to take me. They didn't tell me where they were going to take me, but they were like, pack overnight clothes, da, 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 all this stuff. But they kind of snitched on themselves and they basically were taking me to a hotel and they were going to like take me to the spa and stuff like that. So I just. I just thought that it was so interesting that nobody had an idea that I wanted to like do like an Airbnb or like a staycation or something like that. And I basically ended up manifesting it. And it manifested in a way that I didn't think because I thought like I would have to plan it. And so it's just like if you write down what you want, you can manifest it in ways that you don't really know how it's going to come, but you know what the end result will be. So we're going to get into that. Right now I'm going to switch over and I'm going to show you guys how to make your own vision board, what you need to do the details you need to put in it to make sure that um, you get everything that you want because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help you guys and show you guys how you can make it happen for yourself just based on my own experience. So this is where I'm going to show you how to make the digital vision board. So the site that I use is Canva. This is a, you can do a free version to make your digital vision board. I do have the paid version. So the only difference between the paid and the free version is that you get like more options. Um, so they like if you see something that says pro, but you have the free version, you may not be able to click on that template or that picture, but there's so many options on the free version. So you could definitely do the free version if you need to. Um, and then I'll have the link below. And so when you get to Canva, all you're going to do is you'll just type in vision board. So I already have that right here. When you type in vision board, it's going to give you all of the options, right? And any template that you see is customizable. 
Um, so I would just say like, you can probably find something that you just feel like is more your style or whatever the case might be, but you can, you know, adjust the pictures, the titles, you can add text, you can edit colors, border colors, like everything is customizable, which I feel like is why people love Canva so much. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose this one. Um, cause I like the way it looks. And then when you select it, you're going to click on customize this template. And then also keep in mind, you can pull elements from one, you know, template to another. So you can like copy and paste it if there's certain things that you like about maybe one template compared to another template. So everything is customizable when you look at the vision board, right? And so the pictures are customizable. Like I said, the border is even this brown color. Like let's say you don't like this brown color. Um, you wanted to change it to something else. Or you could come and just, you know, change it to pink or whatever the case may be. So everything is customizable. Um, and then these are, I'm just going to give you like an example because I'm sure like a lot of people want to go in and put, you know, their own pictures and it doesn't have to be your own personal pictures. You can put your own pictures. Um, but what I would say is, um, if let's say you don't want to put your own pictures, they do have an option here where you click on elements and then you would just type in what you want. If you want to upload your own pictures, you would type in upload. I mean, you would click on upload and then you would upload like your pictures and then drag it here. But I'm going to show you, um, like an example. So this one, like, let's say I did it earlier, but my computer was messing up. So this one says pro. So let's say, for example, if you have the regular version, you might not get this picture, but my example was, let's say you want to go to Maldives by, um, you want to go to Maldives. So all you would do is you would take this picture, you would drag it over here and it's going to pop in just like that. And so if you were listening earlier in my video, um, I broke down like why it's important to write things down. And when you write it down, in addition to the picture, you want to be sure that you put a date. So let's say you would say, I want to go to Maldives by April 1st of 2023. So you would just click on text. You would click on, you can click on any of these or you could just do add a text box. I'll just go ahead and do this. And then I'll put, um, and make sure when you put it, you're putting like in present tense. So you will put, I travel... to Maldives by April 1st. Sorry, my laptop is in the way. April 1st, 2023. And then all I would do is I can just drag this here. You can make it bigger, small, change the color, whatever the case might be. Maybe I should make this black. So this is how you would like fix the color of whatever you want. Um, and then you could change the font, the size. Um, I feel like it needs to be a little bit more, more bolder. So I'm just going to choose like this, maybe this one. I'll choose this font and maybe I'll make it white again. So I'll go back here and then I'll change it back to white. And then I feel like I should make this a little smaller it's kind of covering it a little bit. So you just make it like however you really want it to be. Um, let's see. Okay. So um, I think, would I leave it like this? Uh, maybe. Because I feel like I get, I, I get what I'm trying to say. So I would say I travel to Maldives by April 1st, 2023. And so I would go through on the pictures. If you don't want something, literally all you have to do is, let's say, you know, you didn't want this and you didn't need the whole box. Like, let's do the corner one. I would just click the back backspace button and then I would click it again to remove the whole box. So remember I said everything is customizable. There's so much that you can do on here. Um, but one thing I will tell you is to make sure that your dates, Sorry, to make sure that your dates are always updated. So if a date comes and passes, you want to make sure you go back into Canva and you edit it. It's like once you're done with it, you're not done with it. You can always come back and edit it, adjust things. Another thing I was thinking earlier was as you reach your goals, I did see this girl on TikTok. You know, we'd be on TikTok. So I saw a girl on TikTok and she said, um, she had like a bingo type of like vision board, I believe. And so I was like, oh, that would be cool. Cause I'm like, as I meet my goals for the year, I like to, um, I would like to go in and just put like a check mark. So I would do this and I would drag it here. And so as my, as I meet my goals, I'll just be like putting check marks and I could like make it smaller. And in order to get the check mark, let me just show you guys really quick. Um, all I did was go to elements and then I typed in check. 
And then it gave me the option. Let me see if it's here. Yep, it's here. And then I just typed in check. And then it gave me all the options um, for the check. So then that's literally all you have to do. Like I said, just make sure your dates are matching your stickies. Make sure those same dates are matching if you do like a physical vision board. But this is something that you would make and then put like on as your phone background, you will put on your desktop background. I like to use the, uh, when you put on your desktop background, the fit, um, I think it's like an option like scale or fit. So I put the fit one and then on the outside parts, I think they alternatively make it black, but I like to make it like the color of this uh, one. And if you want to find out the color of this all you have to do is just hover over it and it'll tell you that exact color. Um, so like I said, it's super simple, super easy. Just make sure everything is lining up to all of the other things that you're doing around it. So your sticky notes and all those things. One more thing, sorry. I wanted to show you how to save it. So all you would do is you would click on share and then you would go to download. And if you wanted to print it, you actually can print it. You saw the option is it said print your design. You can have them print it or you can print it yourself once you save it. So they have an option to print your design. Um, and then I like to, so you would click on download and then I like to do as PNG, which they say is suggested. And then you would just do download and the downloads and then you can put it on your desktop. So guys, that's how you do the digital vision board. Um, I hope that was super helpful. One thing that I did want to kind of tell you guys are like a few things. So I'm going to give you a list of things that I feel like you need in order to make these things happen for you. Um, number one is going to be Canva. And everything I'm mentioning is going to be linked in the description box down below. So it's going to be Canva. It's going to be sticky notes. I feel like, um, you know, you have the internet, you have a computer, you can get that. The sticky notes, nine times out of ten, everybody has sticky notes. Um, another thing that I feel like is super important that I'm actually going to link down below is a daily planner so you have like your weekly monthly planner that's like for the whole year right but I did see I saw a TikTok you know TikTok be teaching this life so I saw a TikTok and it was like basically like successful people have the daily like sheet so basically you could print out like copies of it and so that's what I'm going to be putting the link down below and there's copies of it and pretty much you will pull from like your your weekly planner of the list of things you need and you choose like the top three priority things you need to get done for the day because I feel like it's so easy to get overwhelmed like you have these goals and then you have all these things you need to do but then that daily planner sheet is like okay you look at your weekly things that you need to do you pull three things from there you put it on your sheet um, and then you put like calls you need to make or meetings which is like a separate section on the one sheet but it kind of like makes everything not feel so overwhelming right it says like today's plan it has a date it says like boring but necessary things it has like time blocks um and then on the time blocks you put like okay i need to do this by this time or you know if you got to go to the gym and then you maybe like the two or three things that you have to get done for the day um and then it, put, it has like a section for like calls or emails and things like that so i'm going to put that there just for convenience in the case that you're like i'm not trying to like go and you know make this myself or whatever the case might be um, then I'll put that there for convenience because yeah, I get it. And, um, and then like you, they, the, depending on, so like you also have a question like I'm grateful for or whatever the case might be on the sheet. And so it just allows you because I'm personally, I get so overwhelmed with my weekly planner and I'll just be like writing all these things down. And then when I look at it, I'm the type of person like if I get overwhelmed sometimes I'll go take a nap, but that doesn't help me. Cause then I wake up and I still have all these things to do. But if it's like, I just pull a few things and I'm like, I got to get these three things done today. I put it on my today's plan, paper, sheet, date planner, and I do those things like you feel like you've accomplished for the day, right? So that's why I want to include that here. And then of course, have like your weekly, yearly planner that you're kind of like writing things down. You be able to cross them off um, and things like that to keep track of like all the different parts of your life. When it comes to the making a digital vision board, um, like I said, when this video is over, you guys need to go make it today right now like we even myself like I, I've already made mine for the new year but I feel like um even me making this video is me holding myself accountable for the things that uh for the goals that I want to reach for 2023 um and things like that is because I've written it down I've written my goals down I have my one sticky out of my whole vision board that I have a date set I'm not gonna share it just yet but you know what maybe I should record it and then um, I'll share it at a later time. So make sure you subscribe. I'm excited to go on this journey with you guys. Um, I just started my channel back in 2022. Um, and so that was even one of my goals. And it's going amazing. It's going great. 
Um, and so I'm excited to just share with you guys all of the things I have learned, the things that have been able to push me and level up in different ways. And so we're going to do this together. So I love you guys. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.